Hi, and welcome to another Word in Season. I'd like to read to you from Psalm 42, just one verse, verse 5. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. That verse, verse 5, is also repeated at the end of the psalm in verse 10. And also in Psalm 43, I find that very interesting. We shall find out, I wonder. In this psalm written by King David, we find that he is deeply depressed and is struggling to focus on God's goodness and faithfulness through his sorrow. He feels tormented. He is trying to focus on God and the things he knows to be true, but hopelessness is consuming him. And yet, a glimmer of faith gets the last word in this journey of depression. He takes the seemingly unusual position of preaching to his own soul. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why are you so disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. The great preacher of the 20th century, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones, himself a distinguished medical doctor before entering the ministry, has this to say about Psalm 42, verse 5. He says, Have you realised that most of your unhappiness in life is due to the fact that you are listening to yourself instead of talking to yourself? Take those thoughts that come to you the moment you wake up in the morning. You have not originated them, but there they are, talking to you. They bring back the problem of yesterday. Somebody's talking. Who's talking? Yourself is talking to you. Now this man's treatment in Psalm 42 was this. Instead of allowing this self to talk to him, he starts talking to himself. Why are you downcast, O my soul? He asks. His soul has been depressing him, crushing him. So he stands up and says, Self, listen for a moment. I will speak to you. Do you do that? I find that given the way I'm wired, much of my self-talk can be quite defeatist. I can tell myself all kinds of negative stuff and then wonder why I I can feel down and discouraged. I have found that the psalmist has given us a great antidote to depression and discouragement. We need to speak to ourselves rather than be listening to ourselves. These biblical principles really helped me a number of years ago when I became very anxious about a delayed and complex house settlement. The trouble was that I was listening to my negative self I had to take myself in hand and speak to myself. I can assure you this was enormously helpful to me. So here we are on this side of the cross. Jesus has come. We now have the New Testament. And I wonder what it might now look like to preach to yourself now. It might go something like this. Listen, self. Listen up, Milesy. If God is for you, who can be against yourself? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for you, self, will he not freely give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against you as God's elect? And what can separate you, self, from the love of God? If there's ever a reason for memorising scripture, it's to turn it into self-preaching, to preach to yourself, because those words are dynamite, for deliverance from a hundred different circumstances. And I think that this is one of the most important lessons in life. And I'm so grateful that David has written in Psalm 42 and 43 these things. And that is to preach to yourself. Church, have a great week. 